Hi, I'm Dan with uh, PCSSales.net. I'm going to show you our portable all-band HF antenna. Now this antenna will operate from 80 to 10 meters. There are other portable antennas out there on the market, but this one has a stronger brass whip, a lot of the telescopic whips that come with the other models um, are pretty weak, easy to bend. The brass is a lot stronger, it comes in sections, they're 18 inch sections, so very portable. Um, another nice thing about this antenna is it will tune from 80 meters to 10 meters continuous. There are no gaps uh, if you want to tune to uh, 6 megahertz. You can do it if you want to tune to 5.7 megahertz, no problem. Anywhere between 3.5 to 30 megahertz will be no problem with this antenna. Um, that's, of course, with the sliding tap, and it's very well constructed. Everything on this antenna is, is soldered together. Nothing is uh, pressed together or crimped together. Everything's sol solid and soldered well. Um, the coil form is very strong, made out of a strong poly material. You could drive over it with your truck and not break the, the coil form. It will fit the standard tripod. What we're using here is just a regular camera tripod. There are other tripods on the market. For example, uh, my favorite is from Lowe's. For about $30, they have a really nice tripod in the uh, level section. Good and strong and still compact. Uh, this is great for portable use, for camping, for field day, apartment dwellers, or if you're restricted with your bylaws, your homeowners association, and you can only put the antenna out at night when people can't see it. It's very good for that. Uh, what we have here is, this is the counterpoise wire that comes with the system. This is your tripod bracket. Has the quarter by 20 standard thread. Your coax will connect. I'm sorry, I don't have any coax with me. To connect to this but your center conductor will attach along with the tap ring to the base of the coil. The shield of the coax will connect along with the counterpoise wire. Now the whip itself, like I said, is the brass section and the ceiling in here is not tall enough to put this completely together but I'll show you how it fits. They go together easily like this. And it's a good solid brass whip. As you can see, there's not a lot of droop in the whip. It's it's very uh, very solid. Doesn't uh, doesn't sag. And then on the coil itself, the bottom section will slide directly over the top snugly. And so, of course, the whip will go another eight feet above that. The way that you tune it is what I found. If you're if you're operating portable, I'll just listen for the loudest receive. As I'm tuning the tap ring, you'll notice, say, if you're on 40 meters, which will be right in here somewhere, uh, as soon as I tune that ring to the 40 meter band, you'll hear the noise level increase on the receiver. Then you're very close. Then you can fine tune it from there with your SWR meter. But that's basically it. Uh, now we'll uh, show you a live demonstration. Uh, what I did was, I ran out my counterpoise wire along this uh, uh, deck here and tuned in the uh, tap ring. All I had to do was I listened for the most background noise on the receiver. As you can see, I'm using a Camo TS930S, which, but uh, I got that one tuned in uh, to where I'm getting about a 1.4 SWR right now on 20 meters. Uh, good enough to uh, to do what I'm going to do. So I'm going to I hear a net out here, so I'm going to give them a call here in a minute. What's your name? Uh, name here is Dan, Delta Alpha November. Uh, first time using this antenna. Oh, okay, Dan. Well, I can give you about a five and six, five and six in eastern Washington, near Spokane, Washington. So not too bad for a portable antenna. Go ahead. Oh, I appreciate it. Definitely. Yeah, it's just a little nine foot whip and. Uh, and a wound coil at the base and a counterpoise wire is all it is.
Well, you're doing real good, so uh, thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. We'll say 73s. Have a good one out there.